Everybody loves kidneys. I love kidneys. If you don't like liver, you should really give them a shot. These are fresh kidneys that I took out of a lamb that I butchered a little while ago. There's a lot more, but I'm just going to do two for you. And the first thing you want to do after you remove them, they're going to be covered in kind of a jacket of uh, kidney suet, is you want to take the membrane off. And if you buy kidneys in a store, chances are they may have taken that membrane off for you. But if you're a hunter or if you're working with fresh animal offal, uh, you may have to take it off yourself. And you want to take the membrane off because it's kind of like silver skin. It's going to be a little bit tough and it's going to kind of contort as it cooks. You want to take it off. Next thing you want to take off is the fat and the fat on the outside where that connected to the uh, inside of the animal but also there's fat inside the kidneys and not a lot of people talk about that uh, except for Fergus Henderson in uh, I think is the only awful book I have that uh, really mentions it in depth so there's that fat on the inside you can see I'm using a scissors this is not the most ideal scissors for the job but it's what I got and I'm pretty sure you can make something work with whatever you got on hand. So you just snip, snip, snip and cut some of that fat out. You want to cut the fat out. This is how I was, trot, I was taught to clean them. If you're going to serve the kidneys cold, like if you're going to brine them and smoke them, which is absolutely delicious, they taste like uh, kind of bacony ham, you would get a white streak in the middle when you slice it. If you're serving them in a warm preparation, like steak and kidney pie, which is also excellent, it's not really that big of a deal. So this it can kind of come down to a personal preference thing. All right, I'll do another one for you here. So once again, I'm just making a small slit with a nice, small, sharp paring knife. And that membrane just peels right off. and you can pop it out and ting it's kinda like a little they kinda look like little magic beans yeah I just love kidneys if you haven't had steak and kidney pie do yourself a favor because it's absolutely delicious uh, I also have a recipe for the smoked kidneys that I talk about that I talked about that's on my website uh, just look up smoked venison kidneys and for our purposes here, venison, goat, and lamb kidneys will all, you can clean them all like this. Uh, small game kidneys, livers and hearts, I love too. Those, you, those kidneys, like rabbit, woodchuck, squirrel, you don't have to clean those like these. And that's it, folks. From here, I'll probably soak them in a little salt water or milk overnight. And then I'll make my steak and kidney pie.